So once you rewrite, everything will be consistent. So it's not very, very <coughs> advisable to just every time you get a different sign to change the direction. It's better to just keep the sign whatever you get. If it's negative, just keep it negative and use the <coughs> original equation. And from here, all you're going to get will be FAB as 5 kips came out positive, it remains as tension. So that was the joint A. Then let's say if you go to the joint C. So if I go to joint C, <coughs> there's a force coming in, there's 10 caps, then the AC. That's F A C except this if I work with this direction you're using this arrow and this arrow means that this magnitude will be negative 5 root 2 then the second member which is FPC the force in that is taken in tension as FBC so there's going to be a force going this way with a known magnitude as FPC, this is x-axis, this is y-axis, this angle is 45, this angle is also 45. So that's the free body diagram at joint C. Again notice that I maintained the negative sign to be consistent with this choice of the direction of the member. Anyway, so <coughs> again we're going to go through two equations. We're going to sum the force at the same joint in x direction, which is xc. And <coughs> what you get is you get 5 is square root 2. Then you're going to have cosine 45. Then the direction is like this, so that's negative. <coughs> then you have plus fpc cosine 45 that's going this way, <coughs> so that's positive, and this should be zero. So this cancels out, and FBC comes out to be negative 5 root 2 <coughs> tips with tension. So this is going to be 5 root 2 kips and really compression with positive. Now <coughs> That's all you need because you get FPC here, you get FAB here, and you got FAC here. But there's still one more equation. I mean, if I sum the force as the in y direction, if I do that, you have negative 10 coming, you have negative of negative 5 root 2, and sine 45, then you have negative of negative. 5 root 2, sine 45, and <coughs> this is going to give you a negative 10 plus 5 plus 5, it adds up to 0. So that is more like a check. I mean, you don't need that equation, but if you did everything correctly, then that point you will get an uh, equation which has to be satisfied, or it goes to 0. Okay, <coughs> then look at one more example.